All right, we have another example of a, a geometric problem that we can um, solve now since we know how to solve equations. Um, and just to help you remember a little bit about this one, supplementary angles are two angles whose measurements add up to be 180 degrees. Well, 180 degrees is actually a straight line. It's half, you can think about it as being half of a circle. Um, if a circle is 360 degrees all the way around, then if we started here and we ended at the other side, that would be half of that circle. So that's 180 degrees. We call two angles that combine together that add up to be 180 degrees actually supplementary angles. So that's their very special name. Let's um, work a problem and see how this works out. Here we have two angles, and do you see that whenever they're put together that they actually form this nice straight line here? So that's what tells us that these are supplementary angles, which means that we know what their measurements have to add up to be. We know that x plus 1 added to 4x minus 56 has to equal 180 degrees because of that nice straight line. Now we have our equation and we can go ahead and start solving this. So combining like terms, we have x plus 4x which would be 5x's. We can also combine our plain numbers. We have 1 and negative 56 which would be negative 55 equals 180. Now we've combined all of our like terms on the same side, so we can start um, moving things. We need to combine our numbers by moving this negative 55 across the equal sign. So we're going to do the opposite, which would be to add 55 to both sides. Now we have 5x equals 180 plus 55 would be 235. Now we still need to solve for x. So the opposite of multiplying it by 5 would be to divide everything by 5. So now we have x equals and 235 divided by 5 would be 47. So now here again, are we done? No, because 47 degrees is not the measure of each one of these angles. So we didn't answer our question yet. This part of the angle here says that it's x plus 1. Well, if we know that x is 47, then we could replace x, and now we know that that angle has to be 48 degrees, because it would be x plus 1. The other angle measure, again, we could replace the x with 47, and 4 times 47 minus 56 would be 132 degrees. So now again we could double check these because these two angles should add up to be 180 degrees. So if we check it, 132 plus 48, when we add those things together we get 180. So that does check out.